Hey guys, so I hope you guys are all doing well and you guys had a great weekend. Um, and I pray that most of you guys woke up and you're happy, happy, and you're not bummed out or discouraged. And I know there's a few of you guys out there, but, um, you know, I woke up this morning and thought oh, we're still here, but it's okay because I know today a lot of people are going to come to Christ. And as the morning went on, um, the sun came up and it was just absolutely beautiful. And I just felt the Lord just smiling down on his children and just so proud of us and so happy knowing that he is truly about to come and take us home. And they're just getting everything ready for you, for us. And, you know, just his mercy and grace is still here and he his love that he pours on us each and every day. Um, you guys, it's just absolutely incredible. And, and, um, just like I said, just the love he has for us and, and lets us feel that and you guys, it was so awesome last night. Um, I came across a video from Mark Murchison, I think his name is, and I've been subscribed to him for a couple years. So he does a video and it was just so kind of funny, but he came and he hugged the camera and it was like the Lord was giving us a hug through him and he started whispering into the camera and it was like, it was like I could really feel the Lord like whispering. It was his voice coming into our ears, our hearts, our spirits and just letting us know how much he loves us. I was so blessed by that video, you guys. I just choked up in tears. Um, it was just absolutely incredible. So I'm going to leave the link to the in the description box below to Mark's video so you guys can um, listen to it. And I know you guys will be blessed by, by that. It was just, like I said, absolutely incredible. And Mark's just, he's such a wonderful man of God. And he just loves the Lord. And he's so patient. You know, he's watching for the Lord too. But his... We can learn a lot from him, his wisdom, knowledge, and just love. Um, he's such a blessing to all his subscribers. But you guys, I wanted to come on and share something that happened yesterday. And then I had a confirmation dream last night. Um, as you guys know, things are really intensifying over in Israel. And I know they have been, but I haven't been like following it, following it as Israel's been at war for quite a few years. And, um, and so again, I, you know, I just haven't really been following exactly what's been happening. So yesterday I had laid down to take a nap and right be before I fell asleep, I was just getting into that first stages of sleeping. Um, I heard a voice and, um, I heard, within the week and I opened my eyes and it was repeated within the week and I was like Lord is this from you or is this like just my mind you know I was like if this is from you please 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 confirm it you know give me a dream something you know like what within a week so I laid there and I, I kind of started drifting back off and this was just on my mind. I was like, it's driving me crazy. Like what within a week, what within a week? It's like, okay, Lord, let me, let me help me try and fall asleep and give me a confirmation on this. If this is from you, please confirm it. If it's not, then I don't want to dream, you know, but you guys, I had such a hard time because this was on my mind and it was driving me crazy. And within 40 minutes, I was back up. I knew that I wasn't able to, that I wasn't going to be able to fall asleep. So we had our prayer service last night and then, um, I was just exhausted. You guys, I was absolutely exhausted. So I went to bed about 11 o'clock and I had a dream, but before I tell the dream, I just have to tell you guys a little story before I get into the dream. So you guys can understand it. I had a resident, um, a gentleman that came to live with us a couple years ago and he was 92 years old. And his wife had just passed away about a year prior to that. And his health started declining. So um, they pretty much sold 
everything of his. Uh, he loved his camper. They had to sell his camper to pay for everything in his house. And he just lost everything. So, you know, we always take that into consideration. And just, you know, my heart just breaks for these people when, you know, when they do lose their spouse and they do lose their homes and they lose everything that they worked their entire lives for. And, um, so he came and he was just kind of, uh, you know, I'm the head of the household kind of man, just stern and it's his way or no way. Um, and I think his wife had brought him to Christ. Um, and she had her Bible and the only thing he kept from, for, from her was her watch and he kept it in his Bible and he read the Bible all the time and he prayed all the time, just all the time. And, um, anyways, you guys, as we had him for about a year March, April, May, June, and three months, we had him for 16 months and the last couple of months, he, his dementia started getting worse. And we always take that into consideration too, but he was just nasty, started getting nasty, mean, um, and it just got really, really bad. And, um, he just, we, we warned him, you know, like you need to be nice. You need to be nice to the other residents and we're trying everything in our power to make you happy. I mean, seriously, like you don't have to do anything yourself. And I think I got upset with him one day. It's like, what can I do for you, Harry, to make you happy? I don't know anything else more than I can do. I mean, I, the only thing you do yourself is pretty much feed yourself. Otherwise I do everything, you know serve everything on a silver platter. What can I do to make you happy? I was just upset. And he's like, nothing, you know, just all depressed. And, and then, um, we had a new employee and she was a little on the heavier side and he called her a name and my husband scolded him. And, um, then after that, he just, he got really, really bad. So my husband and I just decided, you know what, um, it's, it's time. And we had talked to his son telling him he needs to talk to his dad about being nicer. And his son just babied him and coddled him and blamed his dementia and, and just made every excuse in the book. So, um, anyways, we decided to ask them to put him in another home. And they were not happy with us at all. And then actually, so they moved him. And then he called like two weeks later and said, dad promises he'll be better. And he hates it over there. And could you please reconsider bringing him back? And it's like, you know, we're not people to hold a grudge and it's water under the bridge, but we already have somebody in here. Um, and we, you know, there, we just don't have a placement for him right now. So that's kind of where that laid. And that was in June that we had asked them to leave. And I haven't really thought about Harry for the last couple months at all. And so anyways, I had a dream that he came back and my dream started out in his room. We were in his bedroom and he came in and he was angry and he said, I'm back and I'm tired of it. And he took his suitcase and he um, threw it on the bed as hard as he could. And I was like, why? And he said, because they pushed me too far. And that's all I remember. I know there was more to the dream, but um, I even prayed and asked the Lord this morning, like if, if I know there's more to the dream and if I'm supposed to remember anything more, could you please bring it back to my memory? And so this morning I was just thinking, you know, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do a video on it. And I got up and I took a shower and I had to get right into work. So as the morning progressed, I um, watched a video from Born for Battle 74, Chris. And he showed a, a video that um, the war that was happening in Israel. And I don't know if I said this, you guys, um, because I've did this video a couple times, but I am aware that things are happening over in Israel, but I wasn't sure about the extent of exactly what's happening. And then I was like, oh, wow, you know, this really does confirm my, my dream. 
and um, within a week, but I'm sure, still not sure what within a week means. So I'm texting Nicole from Lighting Fires for Christ, and I was telling her, well, I, I don't know if I want to share this, and and da 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 da, and and then I sent her that that video of Born for Battle um, from Chris, and then I watched a clip of uh, Stephen from Israeli News, and he was stating about over a hundred rockets had been fired into Israel. And so I sent that to Nicole and then uh, about a half hour later, she sends me back a video saying now it's over 200. And I was like, oh my gosh. So as the morning's going on, I am looking up this and that and um, decided to look up the meaning of Harry's name. And it means rules the home, a state ruler, war chief, mighty in war, army commander, carry out attacks on an enemy or territory. And so I'm thinking of the dream and I'm like, he says, I'm back and I'm tired of it. And so I thought, well, you know, we asked him to leave and he went to the frontier and I was like, frontier, I have to look this up. And so I looked it up, you guys, and frontier, as you guys know, means a line or border separating two countries. So I'm just like, Lord, does this mean, you know, like within a week, everything's, you know, all this is going to start happening, even, you know, escalating and stuff. I'm, I'm still not sure, you know, what you're saying here, but, um, you know, I, I believe and trust that he's going to, you know, reveal it um, or just wait for this week. And I, you guys, I, again, I'm not 100% sure this is from the Lord. I'm just sharing it, but it's just kind of crazy how all this happened this morning. And then as I'm just researching this and that, I asked the Lord, I said, can you please confirm one more thing? Just please confirm it and just give me something. And um, so as I was coming back in the house, as you guys know, I listen to my, my music all the time. It's always, always, always on. And um, I walk in back into the house and as I shut the door, I heard Chris Tomlin's song, Home. And it was just starting at... Um, where the streets are golden, every chain is broken. Oh, I want to go home. And then I just said it to myself like, oh, I want to go home. I want to go home so bad. I don't know if this is confirmation from you, Lord, that we're going home, but you know how bad we really, really want to come home to you. But we're going to trust you and have faith and believe that you're working everything out for good. So I'm just going to hold on to that and I'm just going to keep on praying and praying for Israel. You guys, we have just have to lift um, and keep Israel in our prayers and just keep focused on the Lord. And just, I know we're struggling right now, you guys, but we are at the end and um, we've been through this for so long together. You know, me personally, I've been on YouTube for almost five years now. I think in June, so four and a half years, you guys, I've been on YouTube watching continuously. And like you guys know, I'm just watching for the Lord every single second. Um, but for the last, I've, I've had my channel and doing videos for, oh gosh, it'll be two years in February. And I know many of you guys have been with me basically since day one. So you guys, I, you guys are my family and, and. If I didn't have you guys, I don't know how I would be able to make it through these last two years, but I'm so thankful and blessed that I got you guys. And, um, you know, like I said, I've been going through this with you guys for two years, so I'm going to continue doing this with you guys. And we're just going to finish this journey together and we're going to go home together and we're going to just be together with Jesus and each other and our loved ones. And, um, start our eternal lives you guys again this world does not mean anything we there's nothing to hold on to it offers us absolutely nothing so um and then when we get home we're just this is going to be a faded memory so you guys please 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 just don't focus on the struggles in life and I know it's hard especially if you're going through marriage problems or health problems or financial problems but 
you know, like I said, I just believe that the Lord is working on our lives and he's just going to get us through to the end. And it might be a struggle. It, you know, it might not get any better, but um, I don't think it's going to get any worse. So if you guys can just hang on a little bit longer and um, just keep on praying that the Lord just gives you a break here and there, just a day that you know, and you have to rebuke the enemy too, you guys. He just, he puts things in your mind and, and puts people in front of you to get you upset and get you angry and keep you thinking about this or keeping about thinking about that or gives you a not such a nice boss that likes to, you know, tell you do this and do that or a husband that likes to, you know, just nitpick at every little thing or a kid that, you know is going through a rebellious stage or whatever, you know, just hand them over to the Lord and just ask the Lord just to help you get through the day and just take it day by day, you guys, just day by day. And um, again, guys, I have my struggles and everything, but I just have to like rebuke the enemy and say, nope, not today, not today. You can try and come back at me tomorrow, but I'm going to rebuke you too then. So just flee, you know, kind of thing and just kick them out. But I, again, guys, I always pray for angels just to protect us and watch over us and keep the enemy away and any darkness away. And it's just a constant prayer, you guys. And prayers are so powerful. I just, I can't stress that more than anything. Prayers are very powerful and Jesus loves you. And those are the two biggest messages that I can give you guys. But, um... I think I covered it all, you guys. So again, just pray on this dream and the words received and uh, just keep praying for Israel, you guys. Things are intensifying, but we know it's got to happen. It's it's Bible prophecy. And, and um, like I said, I believe heaven's working on getting everything prepared and the Lord's getting things set up here and, and um, it's all coming to a head, so... Let's just keep on keeping on and and um, keep on lifting each other up and finish this strong, you guys. We're children of God. We can do this. We can do this. And for you guys that feel like you can't hold on, we're there to carry you if you have to. So if you need anybody to talk to, I'm always there for you guys. I will leave my email in the description box um, too. So don't hesitate to reach out and, and, and talk to me about whatever. It might take me a day or two to get back to you, but I promise I will respond and, and do what I can to be there for you guys. And anybody else out there that, um, you know, that can be a support system, just a, a shoulder to cry on or just an ear to listen to, please leave your emails if you can. And, um, and just let's, like I said, finish this strong and just carry our brothers and sisters that feel like they can't, they can't go on. But um, with that said, you guys, the ones that just don't feel like you guys can go on, just pray and ask the Lord to give you strength. And um, again, just read the Bible, put worship music on, watch uplifting YouTube videos, whatever you got to do. But I promise you guys, we're almost there. We're almost home and our, and our real lives are about to begin. Um, okay, you guys, I love you very much. And Jesus loves you. He really, really does. And he's so excited to come and get us. I just know it. I can feel it. And you guys watch Mark's video. It's so awesome. You guys are going to be blessed by it. I'll talk to you guys later.